Welcome to our roundup of just some of the news stories that have appeared across the scuba diver websites this past seven days. Hollywood superstar Michelle Rodriguez, star of the Fast and Furious franchise, is also a big environmentalist, and she's teamed up with Quibi, the mobile first media platform, for a new series tentatively titled 10 Ton Chum. As the name suggests, this will centre around a 10 ton bait ball, which will be constructed around a protective cage and then put in the open ocean. The film star and the camera team will witness predatory behaviour on the surface, then down at 30 metres, before the bait ball, with remote deep water cameras, will be dropped into the depths. Who knows what might come out of the darkness? We will wait and see. Scuba Digital is a new online dive show for diving, free diving and snorkeling and will run for a full 72 hours from the 23rd of October to the 26th of October. Unlike a traditional show, Scuba Digital will not close at night but will remain open and catch audiences and exhibitors in all time zones. Scuba Digital is seeking to be a true show in every sense of the word with a main stage, further breakout rooms, there's even a networking area, a bit like bumping into people at cafe tables or in the halls of a traditional show. There's a decent array of speakers lined up, including shark expert Christina Zanato and Mark Barrow from Beneath British Waters. Tickets are available now and I'll put a link in the information below this video. Attempts to defuse a gigantic World War II bomb found in the Baltic Sea in Poland resulted in it blowing up. The monster 5.4 tonne, 6 metre long tall boy bomb was discovered in 12 metres at the bottom of a shipping channel, with just its nose sticking out of the silt. It was just one of 12 that the RAF dropped from Dan Buster's Lancaster bombers in an attack on a German cruiser in 1945, but this was the only one that did not explode at the time. The Polish Navy were attempting to use a technique in which the explosive charges burned away using a remote controlled device without causing detonation, but halfway through the operation it caused an immense explosion. Luckily, no one was hurt in the blast. Scientists are employing advanced technology to track poachers by putting GPS locators in 3D printed turtle eggs. In a study published in Current Biology, Helen Fesey and her colleagues explain how they carefully put more than 100 covert tracking devices, known as Invest Eggator, into turtle nests in Costa Rica in an effort to track illegal poaching routes and activities. And it worked! Some of the eggs failed to connect to a GPS signal, others were spotted by the poachers and discarded, but five of the fake eggs were picked up by the unsuspecting poachers. Some only travelled a mile or so, but one went more than 80 miles and in doing so revealed exactly what the team wanted, the complete trade route from nest to eventual buyer. To read about these news stories and plenty of others in more depth, check out our website or follow us on social media for the latest new content. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and ring that bell so you get notification for all our new videos. If you're going diving in the coming days, enjoy and stay safe. And I'll catch up next week for another news roundup.